Hi everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. I'm Arian and today we're going to create this uh, contact section here by using Bricks Builder and Automatic CSS. Uh, check the description in this video to know my setup. So let's start right away. The first thing we need to do is to of course go on our Bricks Builder uh, page here and go with section and select the, the first container. So the first container would ha will get those text here. So let me copy this very quickly and just paste it in. So click the container plus button and then go on heading. I will copy this heading. I will paste, sorry, the about the company and then I will copy this, get here and basically plus button again, heading, um, and then you know basic text so as you can see the order is not correct so click on this on the basic text and you can uh, get here and just drag it here and the second heading we can change it to the other text and then I need to get this text here and just paste it here okay so now we have the structure great Let's add the rest. So we have the Google Maps here and the Google Maps is very easy. You can use the API or just, you know, embed it. And that's very easy. Let me show you how to do that. So first of all, the container here, um, we can actually click on section and then again, plus button and I would add another container. And now underneath we have another container. And in this container, I would put a custom code I mean, it's an embed code, so plus button here and search for um, code. And of course, you can click on code. And here on code, if you click on it, okay, you get this screen here. So um, as you can see, it suggests to manage the code execution. Actually, Bricks needs a permission to make sure the code works. Let's first go on the Google Maps and um, get something like uh, Google Maps. Oops not now okay let's search okay once here basically you need to go on this little icon here and just search for share or embed map if you click this you can click then on the embed map tab and here you can click on copy HTML by doing that go back on the contact page just remove this one and paste it and as you can see now we have the code so as you can see the code comes with a width and a height okay um, what we're going to change is basically the width we want the width 100 percent because in this way it takes the full width of the container the height you can change it as you wish you could also uh, put it like 500 or 600 let's say uh, let's go on the design for example and see this map is uh, like uh, where is it 400 so 450 it's okay you can then uh, basically save this okay and then we need to make sure to go back to WordPress let me open in a new tab go on WordPress bricks um, settings let me check builder access code execution we can select the administrator we are administrator so save it and now if I go back here and just save it first of course and just refresh the page okay now if you click on the code you have this enabled click here and now execute code and as you can see now it's showing the map so now we have our map working with no API very quick very easy and uh, and yeah let's keep it up with the with the um, with the work right so first of all let's say I need to add those elements here is basically agreed so get me let me check again icon title text and another text here okay so um, let me go back to my bricks and then uh, where we are okay close this click on section and with section selected I would go on plus button again and um, click on container and now we have the other container this other container we can click on it and say display grid and say three columns like this okay and then on gap I will go right click and say um, where is it like S maybe 
it could be it could be good uh depends on the on the width you want to 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 have okay great so for now i will set it up in this way then with still container selected we can click on plus button and just add a block this time and inside of the block i would call this block like store position info okay you can call it whatever you want and with this selected i would start adding the elements now so icon title a little text so plus button let's search for icon okay um then let me search for let's add a heading and then a basic text and we can also add a text link, okay? Because the, the last one looks like a text link. If I get here, this looks like a link, so you can use the text link widget. Let me copy and paste the content just to make sure to have the same structure. So paste it, copy and paste it, and then copy this one. okay so um everything is actually set it up we have all our elements we just need to style this and to style this is pretty easy first of all i want to start by styling this element here because those ones are actually easy so let's start with the harder part um first of all we need to click on this i usually uh bam this to make sure that we have all those elements um, with a class right so that if we copy these we can style them by changing only one of them so you can go here and um, we can all, you should name this like st store link just to make sure everything is in order then basic text will be um, opening oops where is it basic text opening hours store title i'm going quickly store pin okay so we name that we can click on bam now and now we can say apply classes okay great so now every change um will be changing on all the other instance of this element so the first thing is click on this little icon and let's search for an icon i would go usually with font awesome and search for a pin for example Okay, you can use this one or that one, or you can also go on other fonts. Uh, maybe let's search for this one. Look, this one looks more similar to what we are looking for. So you can click on it. We have our pin now. And of course, you can enable this and start styling it. Like, I don't know how big we are going to do this, but we could do like 1.4 maybe. Oops. Okay, it's pretty small. It, it's, it's nice. And then retail store. Uh, here again you can click on this and just go on style and just go on typography I would set up like an M for example and on content make sure it's not an H2 this should be an H6 or H5 something like that this one the Monday Saturday opening hours you can also change the styling so let me click on this style font size right click um yeah this is very small but anyway you can set up as you wish and then also this one i would go by clicking here and then um let's go on content and make sure there is an external link you can basically add an external link here that could be linked to the map for example uh like could be this link to share so i copy this and uh where we are now sorry okay we are back here now as you can see this becomes a link and the styling of this you can change it on the um on the dashboard of automatic css but if you're not using automatic css on the template of bricks builder okay so i'm going to paste the link here you can tell him open in a new tab in this case and then when i click on it i get to the map great so get back to the styling uh, typography and the font size i would go with an s2 and then i will also make it a little bit bolder by going on font weight and saying 800 okay so we have the structure now and if i go on the design i see that everything is actually centered 
okay in this way so I need to do the same exact thing to do that just click on the store personal info container I would go and click on this and then you can go and say content align cross axis in the middle and as you can see now everything is in the middle then you usually also add some padding inside of it so you can go on style and just go on layout and basically set up a padding that could be I usually do something very quickly like this one and then click here twice and as you can see now everything is added correctly also I have this icon that is uh, another color so click on this go on content enable class and on color just select your color and I would go with uh, the primary maybe color or the action color as you wish so here you here you go and let's say I want this one to go on two rows like in the design right there is two rows I can do by clicking on it sorry I can go and style width and let's say I want it an XS okay or an S as you wish or an M but in this case I would go with an XS it's doing three rows you can also um, set up uh, you know a custom width like um, you know 5 EM let me try sorry 10 EM 12 okay so 12 EM would be great and of course I also need to make sure typography is centered okay make sure this is centered uh, I would do the same thing on this one so enable the class make sure it's centered click on here enable the class make sure it's centered so everything is well centered and also so this one is done but let's say I want some more spacing because there is more spacing between these two elements and this element and also looks like this spacing is different so how do we set up something like this so there is different ways I usually like to do in this way I usually go and um, select the two elements I want to uh, group them together so store title for example is the first element I want to group right click wrap into a div okay and this will we call it like text wrapper perfect and I open up the text wrapper I have the title inside of it but I want also the opening hours inside of it great so now with this done I click on store position info I am going to BAM again because now we have text wrapper here that is new as you can see it's off right it's not it's not on so I need to click on the plus button and now we have the class for these two and of course uh, we need to add the spacing right so with the store positioning for block selected I go on content and here on row gap right click and just go and say uh, for example in my case I will go with XS it's not the same spacing of the design but you got the point right you can change it here anyway now we have our structure here and what we can do now is just to duplicate this and here you go you have your elements of course um, our width are a lot bigger than the design and at the end of the tutorial uh, at the end we wish I will show you how to narrow down the whole section so with this done I'm going to very quickly set up those okay um, before setting up those let me close all of this I'm going to section and add some row gap so click on section row gap and I can choose like XL M or L let's go with an L okay so now everything is spaced correctly and I'm going now to to style this very quickly so the first container just make sure you select it and then go on align axis center of course um, I'm going to click on the first one and just check the design so this is a very small title I usually go and click on it and I'm sorry uh, go on h6 for example and that has already a styling so you can keep it like that uh, you can go on style then if you want to change the font size of course overwrite right the the h6 font style you can change it but I will keep it default and then color I would go with um, you know uh, the primary color in this case and then um, here this title let me check it in the design I can keep it like this looks like looks the same actually or if you want anyway click on it if you wish and just say font size and you know you can make it even bigger let's say I want it bigger in this way and then you know this one is a simple text very small 
um, this could be keep kept like that I guess again here the spacing uh, let's see the spacing for this container so click on the container here always the same thing row gap we always use row gap to, to add the spacing right okay you can say s in this way the spacing is a little too much you can say you know xs in case perfect again uh, here if you want those two to have to uh, to uh, to be very close to each other very very simple you can just right click on the wrap into a div call it text wrapper okay and then open it up and put the second heading so here you should rename them correctly okay in this case as you can see everything went to the left because we are inside of text wrapper and with text wrapper selected we need to change the display to flex and then click on align cross axis okay in this case you also need to click on vertical direction to make sure they are vertical and as you can see now they are very close to each other and this one is a little bit more spaced so this is the way of building section very quickly right and all of this is actually responsive so uh, let me check again the design so as you can see the design um, in this this section look uh, if you check where is ending here it's a little bit closer right here they are even a little bit lost on the on the width and there is two way to fix this so the first way is you can make the whole section narrower okay by clicking on section and going on style and on width so on layout first sorry on width i can right click and say xl okay or uh, XXL or XL depends how narrow you want it um, I usually don't do this because also the background becomes narrower so you can make the whole section or do the same thing to specific section in this case I want it only for this one to be a little bit narrower you click on container on width you right click and you can basically select what you want and as you can see now it looks better like they are narrower they are not lost in the in the width of the page and yeah you can do the same thing to other section other sorry container and make it you know narrow if you want okay so let's get on the responsiveness of this um, so as you can see this is already fully responsive you don't you don't really need to do anything much but in the mobile I usually go vertical as you can see here there is some problems with the alignment of the text so go back here and make sure all text are aligned center so typography center click on this text center click on this text here center and now if you go on mobile everything is centered and also in the other resolutions um, again as I said here I would go with one row or two rows in this case I would go with one row so click on this container here as you can see and here you can go on content and grid template just say one row and as you can see now everything is vertical and this is the best way to show up this content okay great guys we've done the tutorial very quickly we have this cool co uh, contact page now and yeah I hope the tutorial was useful of course comment if you have any questions or problems uh, like this video to help me out and subscribe of course to the channel thanks a lot and see you in the next one bye